America is very slowly starting to wake up to some of the toxins and contaminants that are present in uh, pipes and water supplies across the country. Obviously, we've been talking a lot about lead for the past couple of years. You have uh, industrial chemicals, you have bacteria and things like that, the spread of legionnaires and other diseases. But in Florida, there could soon be something even worse, something added to the water that is mind-blowing, but they're getting away with it. Now, this is a story that, uh, that, that really developed about a month ago at the local level, and I missed it then. Thankfully, a TYT uh, viewer sent it in to me, and I want to talk about it today because it is shocking. And it all stems from uh, the courts siding with uh, Florida Energy Company against environmental groups. The fight stems from Florida Power and Light's plan to build two nuclear reactors at the controversial Turkey Point Nuclear Generating Station south of Miami by roughly 2030. So that's a long time off. And it turns out it's not actually the nuclear reactors that are the big deal, the big problem here. It's what they plan to do with the water required to clean out the reactors. As part of that package, Florida Power and Light told the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission that it plans to store contaminated water used to clean the reactors as well as actual radioactive waste in the Boulder Zone. Now, this is the lower of two aquifers uh, that exist in southern Florida. You have the, the top one that's used for drinking water in this large region, and then you have a lower one. And they're planning on pumping the water used to clean nuclear reactors and actual waste into this lower aquifer where nothing, I'm sure, will ever happen. Uh, they stated that that plan would pose no environmental impacts to the South Florida environment. No, no. Now, a month later, uh, this is November of last year, a group called Citizens Allied for Safe Energy filed a legal petition demanding that the NRC, that's the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, hold a hearing on the energy company's radioactive waste plan. Now, that was unfortunately thrown out on a technicality. They were a little bit late in getting one of their sets of paperwork in, and so it was voided by the court, and the, pre the plan is now proceeding. Um, now, the president of that organization has a big problem with that based on some research they've done into this region that completely contradicts what the Florida Power and Light Group has said about the safety of the plan to pump the boulder zone with this water. Uh, this is Barry J. White, the president of CASE, who says, everything will be put into a supposedly, quote, hermetically sealed boulder zone. But anybody who lives in South Florida knows nothing below us is hermetically sealed. Environmentalists say the plan could leak carcinogens such as cesium, strontium-90, and tritium right into the drinking water aquifers. And I want to briefly cover a little bit of the reasons, the scientific evidence, that this could well happen once these plants are constructed. The United States Groundwater Atlas, a government document, warns the boulder zone is, quote, thought to be connected to the Atlantic Ocean, possibly about 25 miles east of Miami, where the seafloor is almost 2,800 uh, feet deep along the Straits of Florida. So there, we're not talking about it going straight into the aquifer, but we are talking about it going straight into the ocean right off the shore of, uh, of the Miami area. Uh, likewise, there's an, an engineer's, an FBL engineer, by the way, their testimony that said, there's an upward hydraulic gradient from the Floridan aquifer to the Biscayne aquifer. So we're talking about the two different ones I was talking about. The first is under pressure, therefore you have flow from one into the other and not vice versa. But we have a 2015 study from the United States Geological Survey that says that there's numerous tectonic faults and other fissures that exist there. Great. If present at or near wastewater injection utilities, they represent a plausible physical system for the upward... Look at this quote and feel a, a shiver run up your spine. The upward migration of effluent injected into the boulder zone. That basically means radioactive waste going into your drinking water. Okay? And uh, that, that is believed that that could now happen. Now, one added wrinkle here. The belief that the FPL could never get things wrong. And if they say we're going to put it down into that boulder zone and it's going to be cool for hundreds of years, don't worry about it. This is a particularly poor time for them to be making that case. Because that first nuclear reactor we talked about, the Turkey Point Nuclear Generating Station, has a lawsuit ongoing right now because they have a unique way of cooling their reactors where they have this big bay and there's these long pipes that they circulate the water in so it can be cooled down. That was supposed to be sealed so that it couldn't leak, but there's massive plumes of that water going off into the water in that area of Miami, uh, and so there's now lawsuits going on over that. So they're saying that this underwater aquifer couldn't possibly leak when they couldn't even vouch for the credibility of pipes they make and uh, maintain themselves. Okay. So before I get super serious on the story, and I will, 
let me do some goofy things. Uh, so first of all, uh, I can't have you saying Boulder Zone without me thinking <laughs> the Boulder Zone. Okay, that might be the Danger Zone, but still. I was thinking of the Danger Zone, which is why we named that the Danger Zone. <laughs> That's right. Um, second of all, um, I can't hear uh, of the Turkey Point nuclear generating station without thinking of. They could be hidden like the 50 tons of mustard gas in a turkey farm. So as an They're old, gonna hide the waste in a turkey farm. Okay, well maybe a turkey point. Bush knew. Okay, way okay. Back then. Uh, that's right. Uh, third of all, um, tritium sounds like something you would use to stop Superman. Yeah, or that you would ingest and become Superman. Yes, but not what you want to no. actually ingest if you're a no. human being. No. And and I lived in Miami for three years, and even back then. I drink tap water everywhere. Like the, you know, the restaurants ask you, I'm like, this is tap water, okay? Let's yeah, get I be, figure. Let's get bad. The only place where I was afraid to drink tap water was Miami. <laughs> and for a number of reasons. First of all, Miami is so unstable. <laughs> Everything about mm -hmm. Miami is unstable. The ecology is unstable. The politicians are unstable. The culture is unstable. <laughs> okay. When I was there, there was a guy running for mayor who officially changed his name to Marty, not for sale Shapiro. Okay, mm -hmm. in in Miami, you have to clarify that you're not for sale. <laughs> okay, which by the way now leads to a serious point. Florida uh, uh, Light and Power is the number one donor to politicians in Florida. Uh oh. We covered their influence in the last election on the the solar uh, the the ballot initiatives that were going yeah. on. So I'm sorry, Florida Power and Light. Okay, Florida Power and Light is the company that's saying, don't worry, we're going to put it. This radioactive stuff under your drinking water, but it's hermetically sealed. And as John pointed out, they're not that great in the sealing business. <laughs> but the politicians down in Florida say, well, I mean, they are our top contributors. So, I mean, did I mention that? No, it's hermetically sealed. Mm -hmm. Hermetically sealed, I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's got a hermetic glass ceiling. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Look, how many stories have we covered on the show about. Um, Leak after leak, spill after spill, because they happen. They happen all the time. They happen with great frequency. And it's one thing look, a lot of these spills are totally disastrous. Some are contained, some are much larger than others. But if you spill radioactive liquid into your drinking water, you cannot get it out. Then what are you going to do? I mean, you thought Flint was bad. What if, Miami's a giant city. Mm -hmm. What if their water is radioactive? Yeah. Then what are you going to do? But somebody had to make a buck and somebody else had to get a campaign donation. Yeah. This is, I guarantee you, right now, mark my words, this is an absolute literal disaster in the making. There's no way they're going to hermetically seal that. Mm -hmm. There's no way that it's not going to leak at some point. If you know, as the scientists here are saying, if you know the, the geography of the area, mm -hmm. <laughs> first of all, we already know that they meet 25 miles out. We know that. Mm -hmm. It's water. They mix. Yeah. Let alone underneath where they get the drinking water, and and no one in their right mind believes that it is spill proof, and you can't have this spilling into your drinking water. You can't have it. It's a sheer matter of logic and decency. Yeah, the the actual plants won't be built for quite some time. It takes a long time to get them on, up and running, obviously. Uh, but despite the fact that that court case was thrown out, uh, environmental groups are still active in the area, trying to put together uh, petitions and organizations that can fight. Uh, against the continued uh, plan. Because you can have those nuclear power plants without this as the waste disposal uh, method. So if you get involved now, you can potentially stop it before it becomes inevitable. Um, and I like how there's like, oh, by the way, the scientists are like, it's also the presence of tectonic faults. Anyway, okay, <laughs> you gotta stop it before you enter the boulder zone. Yeah. Let's put some watchers on the wall, investigative journalists to run down the Trump administration and the establishment. You can make that happen. TYTnetwork.com slash go.